Hello, welcome to another episode of Caribbean Cigar Talk. I'm your host Clay and we're here today in Zona Colonial, the historic section of the capital of the Dominican Republic, Santo Domingo. And one of the great things about smoking cigars is smoking with friends. And today we're going to visit with our great friend Reggie here at his beautiful home in Zona Colonia. Hey, what's up, my brother? Hey. Come on in, man. Today we're smoking the David Potter Potter Cigars, local cigar. This is the Toro Gordo, Connecticut. And we're here with Reggie. Uh, Reggie, we're gonna see how this is tasting. Nice draw on it, good flavor. Kind of a cinnamon, cinnamony, very, a very unique spice feel to the cigar. Very nice different yeah. notes what a view here Reg beautiful beautiful home thank you so Reggie uh, you've been here how long now I've been at Dominican Republic about 10 years okay and uh, in Santo Domingo I would say about half of that mm -hmm. and the other half I spent up in uh, and I split my time between Puerto Plata and uh, Santo Domingo the colonial zone Mm -hmm. Which is where we are now. Uh, very historic section of town. Um, great view of the ocean. Reggie, how did you how did you wind up here? I know um, uh, you're a pilot. Talk a little bit about your career and and winding up here uh, in the Dominican Republic. Now retired. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I ended up here. Uh, I was a Navy pilot and uh, before I went to the airlines and I had a quick stint as a private pilot for the owner of the Hotel Jaragua and um, I visited the island uh, approximately like 1989 and in 1989 the Dominican Republic was uh, considered uh, probably uh, raw that's a nice way to put it However, it had something about it that was like really, really unique. And one of the first places I saw was the Colonial Zone. And the Colonial Zone uh, supposedly is about 500 years old. It was a very interesting uh, uh, fit for me. I wanted to uh, really enjoy the history, the Caribbean. And uh, Dominican Republic offered uh, everything that I wanted. Yeah, great beauty, uh, lifestyle, affordable living. Um, a growing economy so a lot of pluses a lot of pluses yes yes from the standpoint of uh, affordability uh, you have so many different aspects of the uh, the island and uh, one of them is we're sitting here uh, smoking one of them yeah so uh, you have the uh, the chance to live here but the chance also to enjoy it Absolutely. As Great cigars. Yes, it is. Great cigars. Potter Cigars uh, are a fairly new brand. Uh, they are a Dominican brand, local. Uh, David Potter is a local attorney. Uh, wonderful guy and uh, cigar aficionado and fan. And he decided he was going to start his own cigar line. And he has a cigar bar called Top Cigar in the Venezuelan section. Uh, we say Venezuela, but it's... Avenida Venezuela, which is Venezuela Avenue Corridor. It's a very, um, you know, a lot of activity and, and club scene and kind of a hip, uh, hipster area. And uh, I've been many times, it's one of my favorite cigar bar lounges to, to visit and smoke at. Um, very nice over there. And uh, so that's, uh, Potter Cigars are made in Santiago in the Tamboril uh, free free uh, trade zone uh, where a lot of the cigar brand companies uh, manufacturers are based and and their factories are set up there and Potter Cigars is, is, a, is, a, is a very up-and-coming brand uh, uh, well regarded I've enjoyed their smokes um, and I'm enjoying this one here yes it's very nice 
Actually, this is my first time smoking it, and mm -hmm. uh, and you had quite a collection. So uh, to try this one, Rich, we uh, we we kind of feel good in uh, giving you the opportunity to uh, in introducing it to you and getting your feedback. Um, so, Reggie, uh, we have to say happy birthday today. Oh, thank today you very much. Today is your birthday. So, thank you very uh, much. Yeah. Salud. Felicidades, as they say. Gracias. Yeah. yeah. And feliz cumpleaños. Um, now, you've had an opportunity to, uh, you've been here quite a long, quite a while, and so you've seen the cigar uh, culture here. And uh, there is a culture. There is an established culture. There's a community of cigar fans and, and uh, aficionados. And, and what's great is there's not the pretentiousness about that community here. Um, uh, many, lots of, lots of great bars, lounges to smoke at. And, oh, yes. uh, and you can just smoke right out in the open here in, in, in the, the colonial zone or anywhere around at the beach here. So right. you have a lot of options. Uh, if you enjoy cigars, Dominican Republic, particularly Santo Domingo and the beach locations are a great place to be. Yeah, it's really kind of an interesting uh, dynamic to uh, smoking cigars here. I, uh, out of habit, take the band off initially. And, uh, and, and I'm doing that in honor of you, so <laughs> I know that you're, that's something that you do, so I just took it off. Yeah. Well, the advantage is, is that you could be at any place smoking and someone will walk up to you and ask you what are you smoking ah. that starts a conversation conversation versus um, I see that you're smoking right you know so it's right. really kind of an interesting uh, I like way that. of doing things very very interesting and so Red Job uh, uh, we've talked a little bit about your background how you ended up here um, and you flew for years, commercial pilot. Um, what's it like now in, in retirement? What are you doing uh, with your retirement? I know you're, you have an interest in real estate. Well, I think that um, retiring here has so many dynamics. You got, uh, you have the opportunity to live on the beach, live in the mountains, live in the city, and uh, as they call it here, the campo, the country. And uh, so you're always busy. You never have a, uh, a chance to be bored, so to speak. Uh, there's quite a few uh, expats, people from all over the world. And uh, most importantly, after flying for 47 years, I just want to keep my feet on the ground for a moment and, uh, and do like I'm doing now, enjoy uh, a little bit of the earth. I like that. That's a long time. A lot of miles in the air. So you know the nice thing, um, you were talking about real estate, investing in here in the Dominican Republic is, uh, was a plus, a plus for me after uh, looking at a lot of different opportunities around the world and uh, kind of goes hand in hand with cigars. So you know you can uh, have a uh, very inexpensive affordable cigar to smoke here every day. and, and and also, you have an opportunity to smoke one of the high-class ones, too. You Absolutely. Know? <laughs> Absolutely. That's the A little beauty. bit for everybody. That's the beauty. Now, this one, uh, as we're getting through the uh, first third here, uh, getting into it, still picking up the, the spice. Um, now, kind of getting some different notes, maybe a transition. Um, little sweetness, a uh, little subtle sweetness. Still a great draw. Not a whole lot of smoke. I like the way it's burning. Yeah, that's a <laughs> pretty nice good burn. burn. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. One of the things uh, that we know is if your draw is, if the draw is a little tight, um, not loosey goosey, uh, and maybe not just right, but a little, little, little tough to pull. Uh, that is a factor of the aging so cigars that have had an opportunity to to rest and to age longer uh, tend to have great draws and so the tobacco needs that time uh, to produce 
a cigar ultimately that has a nice, easy, open draw, not too loose. And uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Everybody has different preferences. Everyone has different palates. Do you tend to Reg? Do you tend to? This is a this is a Connecticut, so this is a light, mild, or as they say in in Spanish here, suave. Um, do you tend to lean towards different uh, strengths or, or bodies of cigars? I do. I uh, I have been smoking cigars probably approximately uh, four years, and in the four years, I tend to lean toward the uh, the suave. One of the things is is depends on the time of the day as well. So um, right now, it's a perfect time for me to have a suave. Yeah. And of course, one of the great things about living on the island of Hispaniola is you can pair a great Dominican cigar with a great Haitian rum. Salud Hispaniola. That is they true. go great together. They're neighboring countries. Shout out to our, our folks and family in Haiti. Hey, we're gonna wrap this up and enjoy these cigars and enjoy a great day. Uh, thank you again for joining us for another episode of Caribbean Cigar Talk, WDRC in Santo Domingo. Please remember to like and subscribe. Recuerda, WDRC en Santo Domingo. Suscríbete.